Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching all the beer no idea. I'm Baz and this is the first of the new feature of Baz's 12 beers of Christmas. Now things have gone wrong. I will explain later. Well, I'll explain now actually. I actually done the beer review, done all the spiel as you do. Started watching the video back to see if I was really sort of happy with it and I have a new Christmas jumper on and stupidly didn't take the label out. So when I was watching it, I noticed I had this big label sticking out in the background. So, so rather than look a complete wally, I thought I'd stop the video, even though I've only got half a beer left, and do it again. Now, obviously I've told you that now, so you're still gonna think I'm a wally. So let's, why we're here, we'll just show you the jumper. There's gonna be a few different Christmas jumpers coming up while I do the video. So this is this one, pieced up, snowman with a beer, and his arms in the air. So uh, there you go. It all goes wrong, doesn't it? So, let's get on with this now. So, the first Bazza's 12 Beers of Christmas video is a beer from Bateman's Brewery, or it's from Bateman's, and it's actually Salem Bridge Brewery. And it's a bottle of their Rosy, no Rosy Nosy Special Christmas Beer, coming in at 4.7%, 500ml bottle. On the front, it's saying it's bursting with rich, fruity sultana and raisin flavours. Now, like I said, it all went wrong. So I've half drunk the beer, but when I poured it exactly the same color, there was an awful lot of carbonation going up the glass and there still is loads inside. There was about a finger of just slightly off white compact head. So the only difference is the beer's halfway down, the head has shrunk a little bit, but apart from that, the beer still looks exactly the same. So let's go in there, give you the aromas. Malty, a little bit of malt in there, a little bit of hop. You may be getting that raisin sultana thing going on. But apart from that, not an awful lot. There's no sort of like spice in there you'd maybe expect from a Christmas beer. So let's dive in and give it a taste, even though I know what it tastes like. Body's decent. It's a nice body on the beer in all fairness. 4.7% uh, really nice body. Although there's lots of carbonation in there, I'm guessing most of that's come from the glass because it's nucleated, but it's not too gassy. It's quite smooth to drink. First of all, taste-wise, you get that malty presence. The hop comes in. There is a raisin sultana feel to it. There's a gentle bitterness. There's no real sort of Christmas sort of spicing going on in there. You do get that raisin sultana thing. Dark fruits. Uh, and it's nice enough. It's a nice enough beer. The only thing that sort of concerns me is that they're, they're branding it as a Christmas beer. And yeah, sultana, raisin, rich, fruity. You're looking at the kind of fruitcake thing going on. But I always, I always think there's a lot of beers out there that are out all round, all, all, all year round, if you like, that they have that rich, fruity, sultana, raisin flavour. Raisin flavour. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be the spice with this. So for me, it doesn't really stand out as a Christmas beer. You can associate it with Christmas, but it doesn't stand out as a Christmas beer for me. But drink-wise, it is rather tasty, it is enjoyable, and it is really drinkable. 4.7%, I think it's drinking around that. It's, it's, it's got that feel, that hoppiness, a gentle bitterness in there that gives you the impression it's that little bit stronger. Uh, what do I think of it? Yeah, it's a nice enough beer. As a beer, a standalone beer, it's a decent beer. Is it festive enough? For me, it's not quite festive enough. That that label, just because they've got Mr. Father Christmas on there with his hat and his white beard and shit, and calling it rosy nosy, it, it, it doesn't really sort of take you over the edge and go, oh, wow, how festive is this? It's just a label. And and I think really all, all this beer has done, as nice as the beer is, and it is a nice little beer, all they've done is... 
I think Batemans have just changed the label uh, from one beer to another, and it's just, and that's all they've done. They 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 they're just basically giving it a different name and then saying it's a Christmas beer, hoping that everyone's going to go out and buy Christmas beer. Uh, but overall. It's a nice enough beer. So, uh, yeah, if you want to give it a go, if you like your traditional ales, go and pick this up, give it a go. Don't expect it to be over festive, but expect it to be a nice enough traditional ale. So, uh, they're my views on this beer. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've had the beer before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. I do apologise for this ver first video going wrong. I can't get any fucking words out either. Uh, so, thank you all for watching. Tune in to the next one tomorrow and hopefully they'll start getting better up to the 23rd. So, uh, yeah, enjoy whatever you're doing today. Enjoy having a drink if you're having one. Enjoy your Sunday dinner and I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.